Hi, my name's Rick from Marion for Models. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fit our ROV style spotlight rack. Right, this is a plug and play setup, so you need the minimum of accessories required. In fact, all you actually need is a 3.5 millimeter drill bit, as the light rack comes already pre wired with a balance connection, which will utilize the balance connection on your battery once it's fitted in. Now the first thing you need to do is to drill with the 3.5mm drill bits, you need to drill two small holes in the actual battery door. This is what these pegs here mount onto. So the first thing you need to do is you need to measure from here to here and then basically mark on the battery door where they need to go. So the best thing to do is if you draw a pencil line across then use then you use the small arrow on the actual battery door as a center line and then basically draw it along because it's really important that you get these two holes drilled in the correct place with the correct size drill bit but that way you don't actually need to um, glue the light rack on and it becomes removable because once they're drilled in the right place that can simply just lean it over that can simply just push in to the holes and it's a tight, as it's a 3.5mm drill bit, it's actually quite a tight fit. So that basically just goes on, and that is basically nice and tightly on. And then you can still open your door, fit your battery in. The only other little mod you need to do is, on the side of the battery door, just angle that around, um, I've had to make a small notch in the battery door here. That's just to allow the cable to kind of feed in round the side of the battery door. It's also helpful as well if you um, actually put a notch in this little lip here. And the idea is that when you come to fitting it in, that that can run in there. And then when you fold your light rack up, it goes in there like that. And then if I show you, you can just see in there, see the cable basically just going into, let me get around that way. You can see the, back, the cable going into the back of the uh, battery door and that's it more or less fitted there's actually nothing else you have to do it runs off the main battery pa pa main battery pack it's uh it's only four leds they're not overly intensive so they don't draw too much power and it will not affect your running time this is how to fit the battery into the model and turn the lights on so you just slide your battery in as you normally would connect it up Put that cable in there, just tuck all your cables in as you normally would and then simply plug the lights in to the balance lead and then basically do the same. And remember just to, as you tuck it all in, just remember to hook the cables into the small slot on the side of the model, just wish you that round again and then that way you're basically all ready to go. If I just turn my studio light off you're good to go. They're also very good for actual orientation as well because they're all angled off at different amounts so there's two looking down and two looking forward but the angle out it angles so that um, if, if you want to position your model and rotate it till eventually you can see the lights if it's way off in the distance you'll be able to orientate it and then basically fly home. So that's our lighting kit so I'll put a link in the description uh, for where you can buy them. We'll have them on our own website and we'll have them on uh, eBay as well. And as you can see, they're very easy to fit and they give it a really cool sort of looking sort of underwater ROV style headlight rack setup.